waking up along with the sun for our first full day out in the world famous Serengeti in Tanzania. We're all excited for what the day will bring, and right now it's bringing us a little jackal running along the road. And we go from something dog-like to something unlike anything else, the hyena. If you watch my channel here on YouTube, you know I just love hyenas. They're so interesting. Not sure why some folklore has them being some spiritual animal that'll steal your soul, when all they are are just great hunters and intelligent carnivores that can eat your bones. Speaking of eating bones, check out Who's Awake Up on the Hill. And he's not the only lion lying around. Here's two more. We have got to get our jeep in a perfect location to be able to watch these three males. Video bomb! I never get sick of looking at lions on safari. Just look at how majestic the King of Africa is. I could videotape lions all day. This is awesome. They are truly Africa's most handsome. Well, not all lions are made equal. This old boy has seen a lot better days, you might say. He's probably been involved in a lot of battles in his time. But I ain't gonna say much more as he's walking right by me, just inches away. Sure makes you appreciate the false sense of security windows can have on you. Looks like all three of these are on the move. The lion's territory is huge, and they can patrol that territory on their own, or as it looks today, as a group. Their territory includes the nearby ranger station. They seem to have woken up a large male buffalo. And after checking out the situation, it seems those lions weren't in the mood to hunt him yet this morning. But to play it safe, looks like the old buffalo is going to go in the opposite direction. And we're going to go in the direction of more safari action. Looks like quite a few jeeps are checking out that tree way off in the distance. There's a leopard in it, on the upper branches on the left. Kind of blurry, but you can see the head and some spots. Well, that's straining my eye, so I'm going to check out something a lot closer. Like these pygmy falcons. Look at them. Now, we don't see them that often while on safari. And since they're under 20 centimeters or 8 inches long, you can see why sometimes they're hard to spot. But up the road, there's something a lot easier to spot. Another large male buffalo. And on the road he's near are some tracks. That large one is from a honey badger, an animal that I've never seen before on safari, but hopefully will someday. Something that's a lot easier to see are these mongoose. This large group seems to want to play the day away. We'll just sit here for a while watching these guys. Well that was a nice break, but it's time to move along as the Serengeti has plenty of wildlife to check out. Our Jeep is having a hard time this morning getting around these roads. An animal that's not having any problems with the mud are these hippos. And where there are hippos, you usually find a crocodile. And where there's a crocodile, you'll also find a fish eagle. Well, we will, because there's one right above the croc in the tree. Sort of looks similar to the bald eagle we have here in America. As we make our way back towards camp, we notice a lone giraffe. I 
wonder if it's related to that line we saw earlier today. And on the roads are some baboons. Always fun to watch a troop of baboons walk by. I love watching the social animals interact. Nothing says I love you more than eating flies off your mate's butt. Well that looks like it'll be it for our morning drives. It's getting hot and it's time for us to get back to camp. Be sure to subscribe before the next ride and thanks for watching.